In today's Madden 22 tip, we're going to be breaking down how you can get the glitchiest sheds and basically better two to three down linemen pass rushes in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, this tip is actually going to be able to apply from several different defenses, but I'm going to be showing this tip out of the 46 defensive playbook out of the nickel 335 wide. So if you want to get my full 46 ebook, um, I'm going to put a link to that uh, to my Patreon in the description. My Patreon is where you can get access to all of my Madden 22 uh, ebooks. I have 13 offensive ebooks and or 13 offensive and defensive ebooks available for you. So if you want to check all of that stuff out, again, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Now what we're going to do here, and you don't have to, but I like to put safeties in at linebacker. Uh, just kind of a standard way that I like to play out of this formation. And uh, what you're going to notice, we're going to set a couple audibles here. We're going to set the Mike Blitz 3. We're going to set the Cover 4 Show 2. And then if you want, I like to set the Tampa 2 or the Cover 2 Sync in that example. Okay. Now, we're going to come out and Cover 4 Drop. We're going to audible down. Okay. And what we'll do here is if we just audible down to the Mike Blitz 3 and it's actually a really, really good defense, right? Because we can easily just put both linebackers in hard flats and have a double Mabel coverage or a double flat coverage um, in which we're going to be able to take away high throws to the flat and deep throws. But the big problem with this, as you can see, is I have all day to throw. So if one of my receivers breaks free, it could be potentially very detrimental uh, to my defense. So what I want to do in this video is show you how um, you can get just a little bit more consistency from your sheds and a little bit better in my opinion. Now the way that Madden reads the game is that if you rush to essentially what it's going to do is it is going to basically kind of double team. You're going to get the double teams a lot. You'll see here like if I'm going to cover for a drop and I just let's say for example I man this guy up on the tight end and I pass him in or let's just drop him in a zone actually. So let's just drop him in a hook curl. So all I'm going to do is put him in a hook curl. Okay. What you're going to notice here is the sheds are going to take absolutely forever to come in and I can throw the ball. Okay. As long as I have a read. Now I'm not saying this is going to work every time. But I'm saying this is something that a lot of pros are doing, are doing this year that most people don't know about. Um, and basically what we're going to do uh, to get better sheds is we're going to do two things. So like I said, when the game has two people rushing, the game reads it as you're obviously dropping everybody back into coverage we're going to essentially make turn the offensive linemen into superheroes. That's why you saw I could have all the time in the world. But what we can do is if, um, and I'll, show, I'll use a run play to illustrate this. If I drop, um, if I drop the defensive tackle into a hook curl and I drop the other defensive tackle into a vertical hook, so I'm only blitzing uh, in this example. Actually, what I'll do is we'll drop, we'll blitz Van Noy, but we'll drop uh, Bethel. So you see here, I'm only blitzing two people. I want you to watch what happens to the run play. You're going to see that we're going to get these instant pancakes, as you can see, and then I can run the ball. Now, the way that you counter this, and that, and it's kind of the same principle, right? The game is saying you're only blitzing two people. We're going to punish you, and we're, we're going to let them kind of run that, run that ball on you just like that. Okay? Now, let me show you a way around this. So we're going to man up Bethel here onto the tight end. And we're going to now do an adjustment that's called a bluff blitz assignment on the defensive tackle, okay? And then we're going to blitz our user, okay? So the game now is going to read our user's blitzing, so that's one. The two defensive linemen are blitzing, so that's two and three. And then the defensive tackle and the bluff blitz um, is actually going to be read as a blitzer from the snap because he's going to fake blitz, right? So now if they run base on us, you're going to see here, we're not going to get weak boxed, okay? We're not going to get weak boxed, not get the instant pancakes or anything like that. So the same basic principle applies to the pass. Let me show you an example. So we're going to go to cover four show two, which is cover four quarters. Another great thing about this is that oftentimes we're going to be using this guy who's in a three rec hook. And so now, as you can see, we're going to be able to create really, really good uh, coverage uh, from this because now you can see here we get the three red hook replaced and then we can man up that linebacker on anyone that might be a problem and drop him back into coverage. So now, well, it's still only seeing two, but you're going to see a lot different of a result here. You're going to see they're going to split those double teams a lot faster and you're going to get a sack. Now, the final piece or the final component to this tip and really one of the secrets of the Madden 22 season so far is for glitchy block sheds, what you want to do is you want to crash your line up and ideally you'll crash them up five to eight times. 
really, really fast. So the way that you do that is you're gonna hit left on the D-pad and you're gonna flick your right joystick up. So let's say I audible down to Mike Woods 3. I'll do this really, really quick, like five, six times. And then I'll set my adjustments and you'll see the defense will look like this, right? Still looks exactly like we were talking about uh, with that bluff blitz and with all those adjustments. But now we've crashed up several times. So I want you to watch how this works. You're going to see, you're going to get a quicker shed to the quarterback and you're going to get better, better matchups. Okay. So very simple tip, but something that you can do a lot with this. For example, let's say I'm going to cover four show two. Probably my favorite defense in the game is cover four show two out of three, three, five wide. And what you're going to see here is we're going to go through our adjustments and we can do this relatively quickly. And what I like to do is uh, spread my D line and spread my linebackers just to kind of help the sheds a little bit. And what you're going to see is that it get the, get the three wreck in the zone and then look at Judon just go crazy, right? They're lighting up, but they're going after each other really big time. So I love that about this defense. Okay. Now it's not just out of three, three, five wide that you can do this. Like I said, um, it, it does work. I think it works really good out of four, uh, or out of, um, two down lineman sets. But let's say for example, I go to nickel normal. Everybody knows I just released an ebook on nickel normal. I think it's probably one of the better defenses in the game because of all the coverages you can play and then also because of this pass rush tip. So we're gonna pinch our defense, okay? And then for this example, uh, we're gonna crash line up a couple times. What I like to do is uh, block or spy the D lineman on the right for those mobile quarterbacks, put a bluff blitz out there, and then now we're in that cover four show two. Same exact principle, just from a different formation. And you see there we get someone completely free to the quarterback. That's how glitchy uh, these sheds truly can be. And it's why I really, really love this. You, you have a chance, it doesn't happen every time, but you do have a chance to get a, a free runner at the quarterback. And if you don't get a free runner, oftentimes you're gonna get glitchy sheds. You saw that time it came from the other side, right? They typically are gonna come within three to four seconds, whereas the other ones are, they're not gonna come in three to four seconds. They're gonna, they're gonna take a long time uh, to come in. And you can do this out of, like I said, four down lineman sets, and you can also do this out of two down lineman set or uh, three down lineman sets. So uh, just a simple tip here, something you can apply to pretty much anything that you're running. If you want to learn how I run my stuff, I would really encourage you to join the uh, Patreon membership. We've got the dollar in there. We've got um, the three, three, five wide. We've got big nickel. We've got uh, nickel normal. We've got so many defenses in there um, that I think you're going to find a lot of success with. So you can see here at a dollar, it's a great way to do it. Probably best at a dollar, to be honest. Um, you just get these really good sheds at a dollar, especially when you crash up um, several times. So again, just boom, 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 boom. I'm just crashing, 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 crashing. And then I'm free to make my rest of my adjustments. And as you'll see, you're not gonna get completely, you know, people aren't gonna come in free every time, but typically one of the two linemen are gonna shed really, really fast, allows you to drop more people back in coverage. And then if they run, like I already showed this, uh, but if they if they run, the game is basically coded uh, so that we can essentially say, well, they don't, they're not gonna get weak boxed, right? We might get ran on, but we're not gonna get weak boxed, okay? So I think this is a great little tip for you. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section. But using the bluff blitz assignment and then blitzing your user in combination with crashing the line up probably five to six times, very, very helpful uh, for your defense. So if you want to learn more about defense or if you want to get better at the game, i got a ton of offensive stuff over there as well. Um, I'd really encourage you to join the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month. Like I said, it unlocks everything. You get all of my eBooks. I got 13 eBooks over there. I got several exclusive tips. We've got probably four eBooks that are going to launch in the new year. Really excited about it. I've been working on kind of behind the closed doors. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. If you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description and click that link.